Welcome to my channel, Practically Home. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I DIY'd these textured vases. This is a home goods flip. And you guys, these vases turned out so, so good. I couldn't be more happy with them. I purchased these vases from Home Goods. This is what they looked like before. And each vase was $12.99 and the large one in the back was $19.99 and the product cost less than $25 and you guys this is how they turned out after and they look so good I'm so thrilled so when I get started I'm going to show you guys exactly what I use how I did it I started with spackle you can buy spackle from any local home store really home depot has them walmart has it so i'm gonna apply a thin layer onto each vase spackle dries really fast especially if it's a thin layer so i'm gonna go onto these vases i'm just gonna apply a little bit of spackle all over it i really want to try and cover up the blue and this is going to add a lot of texture underneath the paint when we go to paint them I'm going to be applying the spackle in a couple different directions on the smaller pot. I really wanted to have a lot of contrast and a lot of texture for this smaller one because it is so small. So I am going to do this one in a couple different ways. I'm going to go side to side. I'm going to do a little circular motion. So this one is going to have a bit of texture on the smaller one. The larger one, I want it to be a little bit more simple um, because it is so large and it's going to be white. This one I'm just going to do up and down motions and just really kind of smoothen it out. You want to make sure that I'm trying to make sure that I'm getting most of the dark blue covered because this one is going to be white. Um, I want to make sure that none of the dark blue is going to be showing through the paint. So once this dries completely, the spackle will go from pink to white. I have my little sanding um, brush. I'm going to go in and just kind of like smoothen out the corners. I don't want anything poking out. Um, through the paint. I All the paint I'm using in this video is by Bear and it is their chalk line. This is their chalk decoration paint. This gray paint I actually picked up at Home Depot. It was on clearance for $2 so I thought what the heck. I do like the color gray and so I'm going to give this paint a try on the, some of these vases. So I, I'm just using a sponge brush on the vases. I put these up at Home Depot again. I really liked using the sponge brush because you can really like thin out the paint um, and then you can just rinse underwater and it cleans up pretty well. So I'm just going to sporadically apply the gray paint onto this medium sized vase. Again, I'm trying to cover up a lot of the dark blue spots. I'm going to get around the top, around the sides, and then I'm going to set that aside and let that dry. So I have another paint color called French Beige. I will link all of these paints down below. But that medium sized base I did take outside and I just gave it a good coat with the French Beige. For the small pot, again, I'm going to go in, I'm going to sand it down. And then for this one, I want this one to kind of be like dark and moody. This one like is just so cute and I love the circular shape on it. So this one is going to be a bit darker. So I'm going to go in with the gray chalk paint again. And this one I want to have an ombre effect. So I'm going to start with the gray paint on the top and work my way down. I'm going to paint it gray probably about just a little bit more than halfway down the pot. I'm going to just kind of sponge this color all over. The first initial apply with the sponge brush is kind of heavy. So one little dab actually goes a long way. So I'm trying to like really smooth out this paint. Um... But I, this color is actually really nice, and I don't mind some of the white showing through. I want to add a little bit of contrast. Um, the goal for these vases is to kind of make them look a little bit weathered and aged. I'm, like, really loving that look lately, so that's what I'm trying to go for. So I'm going to take this pot outside. I'm going to flip it upside down. This is, I'm going to go in with the chalk paint. This is in the color Classic Noir. And I'm going to flip it upside down and just cover the base with black. Now, I didn't do cover the entire vase. But if you guys lightly spray the bottom, the mist of the paint will create an ombre effect. And it turned out so, so good. So I'm going to go in with another color. This is a French beige color. I'm going to apply a little bit of this to my sponge brush. And I'm just going to apply this in the center of the gray and the black. Now, I honestly, I could have just left it. Like I could have been done with this vase um, after I applied the French beige because I'm actually really liking how it looks right now. 
but I'm just not quite done yet. I really wanted to um, add in some more white after I did the French beige. I'm just going to apply a little bit more of the French beige um, on my sponge brush. I'm just going to blend the rest of the pot out and then um, we'll move on to the next color. So I'm going to set that aside. I'm going to let that dry. I'm just going to dab the lid as well. I'm going to go in with a little bit of French beige. I'm just going to dab where all the white is. I'm just going to really, really try and like blend the gray and the white together. It's going to really help give that weathered look to the lid. So this is how the lid looks. I'm gonna set this aside. I like how the lid looks compared to the base. So I'm gonna let that sit on the side. I'm gonna let that dry for a minute. And then we are going to just move on to the next color. So I have this marquee. This is also by Bear Too. This is just their like whitest white that they have. I went in with a very tiny sponge brush and I'm gonna dab white kind of in the middle of the vase. Now this is gonna look really striking and you're probably thinking, what the crap am I doing? Why would I add white? I'm probably ruining it, but you guys, I promise you, if you just wait and see how this turns out, it's totally worth it and it looks so good. So the only thing with the sponge brush is that when you dab, I don't like the fact that it leaves a circular like imprint. So what is really helpful if you use this type of brush, if you go in and then you start kind of doing circular motions with it to smear it out so it doesn't look so pounced by a brush. For this face, I was thinking about having it be really just kind of French beige with a little bit of white. Um, weathering throughout it so I went in with the white sponge brush and I'm just going to pounce this along the edges through some of those really dark spots where I did the gray so I'm going to go through with a sponge brush I'm going to do circular motions I'm going to pounce a little bit um, I really don't want any of those harsh lines from the sponge brush to show so I'm just going to go throughout this face and really just kind of give it almost like an all white look um, and then when we're done with it, I'm going to go back in and um, finish it off with some more French beige spray paint. And you guys will see how that turns out. And I promise you it looks way better than what it is looking like right now. So then I'm going to put this white all over the lid as well. And then we're going to set this aside and let it dry before we do another coat of paint. I'm going to get the smaller vase back out. The white paint has dried already. I'm going to go in with the French beige. I'm going to do the same technique and I'm going to go in and do another layer and kind of cover up this white. And you guys, this is probably, it's going to look so much better. Um, it's going to be a less striking than how the white is looking already. Um, and then once this is done, we're going to cover all those little white spots. Not all of them. We're going to leave a few spots that are showing. There's really no like direction that can really give you this is just kind of like i'm layering colors after colors i'm making it look sporadic um and you kind of wanted to make it look effortless i really did want an ombre effect for this pot after the french beige dried i went in with my black sponge brush and i just finished it off i blended it up and it turned out great so i'm gonna leave that one alone for this middle one i was not liking how it was looking i went back in with my sanding brush i sanded it down i painted the bottom of the vase white and then I f took it outside I flipped it over and then I took the French beige and I did that ombre effect again um, and I really like how this is looking it's not quite done yet I'm thinking about going in with my black sponge brush and just kind of touching up those little corners that you can see where paint where the original vase is showing through so I'm going to go back in I'm going to kind of like just do a very, very light layer with this black and just kind of make it look effortless. I'm really playing it by ear on this one at this point um, because I really do like how the base looks. I just feel like it needs just a little, little, little sum sum. So I'm going to go in. I'm just going to kind of dab the corners, dab the sides a little bit, um, kind of make it look a little weathered from the top down. I'm not going to go too much into the white. I'm just really going to kind of touch up the top where that French beige is. And um, yeah, I pretty much like it from there. If I can go back and do this again, I would actually just completely skip doing the gray paint in the very beginning. It was kind of pointless. 
So for the large pot, I originally had this, you guys can see that paint in the background. It's like this ivory chalk paint I got from Walmart. I had it on hand. I used it, did not like it for this vase. It was way too yellow. That was not what I was going for. So I had this bare uh, white paint. It's not chalk. It's just a regular white paint from bare. And I basically went back over all of this chalk paint that I used before and I covered it white. Um, I was not liking the previous one. That was a total bust. So scratch that. We're going to paint this face all white. I'm going to give it a nice coat. I actually don't mind the little layers of the white that are kind of happening now. So I'm actually like kind of fine with that. But I'm going to flip this face over. I'm going to grab the black chalk paint. I'm going to spray it on my sponge brush. I'm going to go around the base of the pot. And I'm going to do an ombre effect from the bottom up. Um, I'm thinking I love the white and the black contrast. And so I'm just going to take my sponge brush. I'm going to dab the edges. And I'm really just going to smudge the black from the bottom up. Um, and again, the whole point is to kind of make it look effortless. You want to use a light hand when you do this. So I'm just kind of doing circular motions. I'm kind of flicking the brush up into the white. And honestly, I'm really liking how this is looking. So pause. So I took this. I love the black and white, but I feel like I needed to do something else. So I took this outside. I used the French beige. I flipped the pot upside down. I did that ombre effect again. So I just dusted the bottom of the pot with one or two light sprays of the French beige. And you guys, it created this really beautiful ombre effect. And I'm so thrilled with how it turned out. So I took my black brush and went in with one last layer. I just kind of dabbed the black a little up into the effect. And this is how it turned out. So this is how the vases turned out. I'm going to let them dry overnight. Let all the colors settle. But I'm actually really thrilled with how these vases look. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me a comment down below if you guys have any other DIY projects that you want to see from me. Um, this was such a fun project to do and I love how it turned out.